I'm Nick Liard. And I'm Mark Gentili from Subway.com. And this is Pines and Politics, and we are joined by Steph Paquette of the NDP. How's it going? I'm, I'm good, man. All right, let's order yeah. ourselves a pint because sure. it's in the name, right? Why not? Yeah, what are you ordering? Except uh, for well, me. It's, it's coming on down. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at this. You there got is. an orange. Well, you That's know. That's interesting. Come on. What I'm did you get? Oh, I'm NDP, man. I have to have beer with this, a touch of orange, This right? is called solidarity and messaging. There it yes. is. <laughs> you are what you drink. Uh, I there got the Tapos Ale because we are at Tapos, so I figured why not. And Mark is sticking with the same one he had in the first video. <laughs> yeah, Mark's kind of a kind of a weak link in the uh, drinking yes. game. Uh, well, I got myself a shock top, man. It's one of my favorite uh, summer beers. I know we're not summer anymore. No. But I'm trying to encourage summer to stick around a little longer by having this beer. Plus, hey, a little beer with a touch yeah. of orange. We appreciate that. you fall over, right? There it is. Yeah. There it is. All right, you start the question. Yes. I'm going to start the question. Okay. Hey, man. So, can hey. I have a sip first? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, let's cheer. Am I allowed to drink? No. No, cheers. no, no right. they're just... They're just just place. We're using them for every okay, party, cool. yes. <sighs> Not bad. God, that's good. So you are well known <laughs> around the area. <laughs> I'm the most and famous the person area. you've never heard of. Uh, well, no, you, you've got some profile. Well, thank you, you. You've got some profile. You won a lot of awards. Yes. You are well known, especially in the Franco-Ontarian well, community you. for your for your abilities. But yes. you're also known uh, in the wider world for your work on television. Yes. So you, but you are, you know, you're known as an actor. You're known as a comedian. You're known yeah. as a musician. Of those... <clears throat> Uh, of those, the skill set that that provides yeah. to you, what can you take from that as a uh, as a new politician? What can you use from the skills that you've taken in the arts world that you can transfer to Ottawa? Well, look, I know what it's like to to survive, man, on on being a, a, a independent worker. Look, I, I built from nothing. My superpowers: I look at a page and I can write you a song, uh, uh, musically and lyrically. Um, I know what it is to, to wake up early and, and and work hard. The work ethic to be a, a independent worker. I don't care if you are an entertainer. I don't care what it is. Uh, those who are independent workers, who are living, making a living, and feeding their families as independent workers, um, know what it's like, man. The, the work ethic that it takes, the dedication, the passion that it takes, uh, and also 25 years on stage, man. Talking to people, convincing people to, to come see my show or buy my album. Uh, I think that's uh, my communication skills, I think, will, uh, is one of those big ones. Plus, you know what? You know, I'm, I, and I, I, you know I'll, I'll take the question, okay. and I'm happy you, you at least you didn't say, well, you're just an artist. I, 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 I would I hate, never say that. I hate that, that, that statement, um, and I always answer this way. Nobody's questioning Charlie Angus anymore, right? That is uh, true. I, I don't think you need any experience to do good by people. Um, I have a certain skill set. Uh, just happen to be an artist. I'm still I still work in the education field. Also, I'm a, uh, a cultural facilitator for the Indigenous uh, Studies for the French Public School Board. So all that, man. Look, we all have different experiences, and we all bring something different to the table. And that's what I think a democracy should be. So cheers. Um, yeah, cheers to that. Uh, yeah. An actor. You're oh, a musician. Okay, I, gotta turn I hear this you're way a pretty now. good dancer as well. <laughs> Um, but I have to think. Over I thought those videos were deleted from my Facebook yeah, page. No, no, they're permanent. Right. Right. Um, I have to think that, like over your lifetime, yeah, you've man. thought of you know one of the you know that screenplay or the movie idea that if you had an opportunity to pitch to a big movie company or director that you would. What would that one screenplay or movie <laughs> idea be? Honestly? Oh, Nick Liard. <laughs> Honestly, you, you, I know. Honest, I, I, honest I, question. I swear. Yes. My father is um, a Vietnam War vet. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, man. I found some old Juice newspapers. Back. Yeah, man. Uh, Subway boy uh, from uh, from the flour mill. Oh, we're drinking. Okay. And there's a part of me. As, look, there's sixty thousand Canadians that that fought in Vietnam. We don't. It's not in our history books. My father is one of those. All right. I found a, an old shoebox with medals and stuff and. Uh, it's Sudbury Star uh, newspaper articles of him coming back from the wow. Olympics. Yeah, I know. It's like, come on. I, and this was unknown to you. Unknown to me. I was like, the whole time, I was like, I, okay, I love my dad, but I didn't think it was that cool, right? And, yeah. uh, and I was like, I wonder if I have a brother and sister in Vietnam. You know, I've always <laughs> wanted to do a documentary to see if I go back to Vietnam. <laughs> How would your mother feel about see, that? Look, man, I, I don't know. They're divorced now. So times, I, I'm right? sure. It was war. It, it was, was war. war. So I'm always, war. Oh, there's always been a part of me. And it's one of those jokes we always say, you know, between friends when we're having a beer. Oh, look at that. Um, and always go, you know, you know, Steph, you ever wondered if you have a brother and sister somewhere in Vietnam? <laughs> and it's never crossed my mind until now. 
So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that would be it, man. I, I'd pitch that going, look, it's a Chelmsford-born francophone singer-songwriter who's, who's going to Vietnam to search for his long-lost brother or sister. I can see it playing at Cinefest next year. Wow, you've actually put some thought into yeah. this. <laughs> he, he, thought, he thought he was going to get you on something, and you actually had an answer. After you, sir. I want to quote you something yeah, that man. you said. Oh, boy. Okay, so you've said, uh, when you uh, launched your campaign, yeah. you said this. You said uh, that you are done with hypocrisy, the lies, the empty promises, the scandals, and the lack of accountability in government. Yeah. So I want to know, what in the NDP platform demonstrates how a new Democrat government would be different from that list of things that you say you are tired of? Well, just give us a shot and you'll see. No, I want to, what is this? No, I'm the sorry. It, you know, these platform things, here's, here's a question. And I love our platform, man. I really love our platform. But we live in a, in a, in a society or a, a political system that every four years, we pitch these platforms that are non-binding. Non-binding, there's nothing legally holding us on to these platforms. Mm -hmm. And, and we expect people to believe every ridiculous promise that's in there, whether that's, that's nonpartisan. Um, look, we, we, and my issue is, is if we didn't respect anything in those platforms, then we don't need to talk about it four years down the road. This year, no liberal is talking about electoral reform. They refuse to talk about that. Uh, nobody's going to be talking about the deficit. And heck, the liberals aren't even talking about Justin Trudeau. Uh, you know, so for, for me, it's, it's really the type of person that you are going to elect. I think it's the type of person you're going to elect. Because no matter what's written in the platform, if you have that person who's ready to do right and do things differently and see things outside the box, mm -hmm. then you're just going to bring something more to the platform. I, I think that's the basis of everything because I can talk about electoral form all day when I'm door knocking. But honestly, the people, all they want is to know that you're going to have their backs. That's it. That's it is when they're going to call your office, are you going to call back? When they're going to step into your office, are you going to hire the right staff, the right people to offer them the services that they are looking for? Are you going to do the research to try to solve their issues? That is the main goal. And I know that, you know, media and stuff, we have, you know, we see the leaders and stuff like that. We're these big promises. And I, I look, I am going to fight for pharmacare for sure, man, because it's, I find it's, it's unacceptable that Canada is the only country in the world that offers universal health care but doesn't tie in universal pharma care. It's, it's the only one in the world. I find that completely unacceptable. So yeah, I am going to fight for that stuff. Uh, but when it comes down to your writing, basically they just want to know, do you have my back? Are you the guy, and I am, are you the guy who's going to jump on a bus at 6 a.m. to go, you know, protest on a picket line in mm -hmm. Kitchener with the care partners that have been locked out for 17 weeks? You know, are you the guy who's just going to show up and say, hey, I, I know I can't do anything right now because I'm a candidate, but here, here's some Tim Mitts, here's whatnot. Are you going to show up when it's convenient or are you going to show up when it's necessary? And I think it comes down really to the personality and the type of person that you elect. Fair. Is that fair enough? That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it's a fair that's enough answer. That's Thank fair you. answer. All right. Oh. Good night, folks. It's gone. All right. You've got to leave it a high note, <laughs> yes. like George Costanza says. <laughs> um, speaking of door knockers, mm. um, you're the candidate for uh, the NDP in, in Nickel Belt. It yeah. is a massive area. 30,490 yeah. square kilometers. Now, you said that you would step foot or try to step foot yeah, in, in all every 47 community. communities. Yeah. Uh, first of all, how is that going? Second of all, what has been the most interesting community that you've been to in Nickel Belt? Wow, most interesting. I I've, live in Coniston. So yes. Coniston. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's, it's funny because... Um, they're all so very unique. That's the, that's the weird thing, right? So you, you, you go to West Nibising or you go to Sturgeon Falls, it's not the same. They're not have, they don't have the same issues as Coniston, like you said, or River Valley that have issues with even, not even cell phones or internet. They have issues with their landlines, right? Um, Benny, I'll say Benny. Okay. Benny was an interesting okay. community. I don't know if you know where Benny is, no? No. Yeah, it's what? up the 144. Yeah, you it? go up the 144 and there's a little sign that says Benny 2. And I, I wasn't sure if that was two kilometers in or population 2. Yeah, um, <laughs> me neither. Yeah, so my wife is from Biscotasing. Okay. So that's one of my communities also, which has uh, 25 people who live there year round. My, my wife was born and raised there and my, my in-laws still live there. And, and I was thinking, all right, man, so, you know, Benny would 
how it can't. Did you meet Benny while you were I, there? I, no, Benny does not exist anymore. Uh, is it Benny and the Jets? No, no, there's no. Uh, Two they, of the Jets. They closed down the airstrip, so there's the no jet. more Jets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it's Benny and a uh, jersey from the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, the guy had one in his in his uh, oh, living room. Timo. But I remember going in there, and there's about nine residents. That's it, in that community. Wow. And uh, I remember. <laughs> some man walked out as he saw my car come out and he's just standing there with his arms crossed and he I, I step out and he says hi I uh, just wanted to check out Benny I'm I'm the nickel belt and he looks at me he says oh politician usually comes out here you know <laughs> and I'm thinking he says the last politician who's come here was Floyd Logren and I went well yeah, good at right least party. it wasn't NDP yeah. I was like right yeah. party uh, but I think it's important I think it's important I, I, and I get it look you know, I, I've never shied away. I've been, I think I've been really transparent about how things work with my vlogs online. Um, of course, you're going to canvas. People want you to canvas where there's the most population. But I, I just feel that if you're going to represent a community or many communities or a riding that huge, you at least need to go step into these communities and to see. You, you can't just start talking about something willy-nilly and not know what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Even though that seems to be the motto a lot it, with it, politicians, it, it is that yeah. uh, that is the key. You got to be able to talk, and you can talk. So I think so. You're halfway there, and I can drink also. <laughs> and you can yeah. drink. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. Right. Cheers. I don't know why I'm making noise. There's a microphone in front of me, and I feel I need I to make noise when to. I drink. And I don't usually make noise when I drink, no. but I just there's a microphone. It's more fun I would hate I to have so. coffee yeah. with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said uh, yeah. you know p the you know you, the platforms are you know I think you called them all ridiculous promises no, in the well, platforms. No, they're not ridiculous. You promises. made a general statement about uh, calling. Yeah, plat I mean platform we we hope ridiculous. that we bring all these things uh, uh, to, to fruition. Of course, right. man, and and uh, there is some thought behind it. My issue with platforms is when you don't respect the promises you made, you need to be accountable. You need to address why those promises didn't get. Uh, didn't get accomplished, and, that's and, and unfortunately, that's what we're not seeing from well from the past four years, right? If the ND, if there's an NDP government elected, God, that'd be great, huh? If there is an NDP government elected, out God, of the that would platform, be great, eh? what are those? <laughs> what are those? What are the three things in that plat in your party's platform that you would like to be able to say I delivered on those for you? Wow. See, that's a, that's a big question. It is a big question. Because you, you have the platform on a national uh, yeah. uh, perspective, and then you have what your, your writing's per perspective mm -hmm. is, right? Um, I'd like to see electoral reform, for sure, especially that, you know, man, Trudeau rode the electoral reform train all the way to a majority. Mm -hmm. 1,813 times he sold us. And even I was convinced, I was, yes, I got a big writing. People are apathetic. They feel that their vote doesn't count. Yes, let's bring in electoral reform. And here we are four years later. Uh, okay, so we're still voting the same way. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to, to see that for sure. Uh, the next one would be, of course, for my writing, would be cell phones, man, and internet access. And I know that on the big, larger scale, we're talking about a lot of platforms are, uh, from a lot of parties are saying, well, we're going to cut 25% or we're going to cap this or cap that. In my writing, the issue is that, yeah, we're p paying two times more, and some of my constituents are even paying five times more because they need to buy boosters to boost their single. Um, another issue I have is when I'm traveling the 144, and, and you see a sign for a tow truck, and then if I ever need a tow truck and I take my cell phone, I go, oh, well, that would be nice, but I have no service. Yeah. Uh, we're paying so much more in Northern Ontario for so much less service. So that one would be a big one. That one I would be super, super proud. We really need, and it's, it's not a question of, oh, look, I just want to marathon some Netflix this week. Yeah. And it's, it's a really question of security, and it's a question of, uh, I, I know my mother-in-law, who lives in Bisco, uh, she calls for services and everybody's pushing them towards internet. Going, oh, well, you know, ma'am, you can, you can do this online and stuff. She goes, no, I, I don't think you understand where I live yeah. and we have no access to high-speed internet. Uh, and that's problematic. Even kids, uh, students now in high school have to do X amount of hours online to get their diploma. Well, Correct. I'm sorry, my constituents don't have access to affordable high-speed internet. So okay. that would be a big one for my constituents, for sure. Number three? Oh, I have a third one also. Um, to record an album with Charlie Angus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How's that? Would, now, well, what would and be, Andrew Cash. What if would Andrew Cash called? gets in also, well, since we're talking about uh, uh, cell phone caps, we'll call it 
the NDP cap, Cash, Angus, and Paquette, you know? Oh, sort oh. of like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. But. <laughs> yes, but, but much younger. But much younger. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I think that's all the time that we have, that's Steph it? Paquette. Uh, oh, I have another yeah. question. Oh, you yeah, have another, another question. question. Yeah, What's you the other question? questions for Steph already? I, well, I mean, we're out of time. I'm not out of oh, questions. Can I ask am, I, am I answering too? My, my answers are too long, is that what it is? No, no, no. Not I want to ask one Take more because, uh, because this one was one that, I, again, I, yes. I, I want to I call back to something Steph said. Oh, uh, my yeah. God. Well, you can ask the ago. question, then we'll get him to do an impression. Sure, sounds good. So, I'm not... You, you have told, I think, I don't know if you told our reporter, but you have said in, uh, since the campaign started that. Yeah, um, I've said a lot of you, things. You've said a lot of things, but yeah. I'm going to call back to something else you said. God, man, you're yeah. aggressive. I, I, I try. I, Jeez, I, mean, I need no, to I'm, drink I'm more. I'm gentle. <laughs> I, if I had more beers, I'd be more aggressive. But <laughs> you, you have said that you were inspired to run when your youngest daughter asked you why you couldn't do anything about the community's struggles. And I wanted to know what, it, what struggles that Greater Sudbury faces that an NDP government could address. And I think you've touched on some of them already. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, uh, it's fun. It's 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 weird because when you say Greater Sudbury, I, I know that Greater Sudbury is split in in multiple writings. Yeah, um, it is. it's it's funny because we're stuck with Sudbury writing, but the issues and the struggles aren't Correct. the same at all. They are not. Um, I think two two big struggles are, um, um, well. I've said it. I, mean, I know I'm going to regurgitate, but internet, of course, access. Please not on the stuff table. And, and, and cell phone access, affordable and, and, and reliable uh, internet and cell phone service. Um, and I think it's, it's one of the big struggles is to keep people in the north also and, and to com connect these people. Um, you know, there's, there's 73,000 potential voters in Nickel Belt. And even I, I looked at the incumbent's uh, um, Facebook pol uh, politician Facebook page before he blocked me. And... Um, uh, you know, he had less than 4,000 followers. Well, that's, that's a very low percentage of, 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 of the electoral uh, con constituents that, that, that have a right to vote, 73,000. Yeah. So for me, it's, it's trying to find how do you connect and how do you, do you, how do you tell metogamy that, you know, you're, you're as important as, as, as River Valley mm -hmm. and as important as Capriol and as important as Coniston. And I, I think that's what... Um, that's the struggle I see in, 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 in Nickel Belt. Every, sort of an alienation? Yeah, there? there's an alienation. It, look, at, look at Falconbridge. You know, you talked about the community that I, I, I fell in love with. I, I stepped foot in Falconbridge, and I can't believe that it took me so long to step foot in Falconbridge. You're going, wait a minute, it's part of Greater Sudbury. Why have I never stepped foot in it? Yeah. Well, it's just the demographic, right? So if I'm traveling from Valley East, going through, uh, you know, on Skeed Road, I'm turning right and I'm going to Garrison, right? I'm not, I'm not doing that three, four kilometers to go to Falconbridge. So there's a lot of little communities like that that, that yeah. feel, um, and especially Falconbridge now that with the whole new municipal, uh, um, uh, the whole Gova uh, transport, they, yeah. they don't have buses anymore yeah. going there. So um, it's important to show up and, and listen and listen to these communities. And that's why I'm, I'm happy you said I'd step foot in every community because it's important. It's important. They need to know who's got their back and you need to know who these people are and why are they feeling um, alienated. So I think the big challenge for, for Nickel Belt is that, is, is trying to take this massive and, and keep these kids up north. Because if, you know, look, if the population decreases, the area of these northern ridings are just going to get bigger and bigger and mm -hmm. bigger because these ridings are, 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 are mapped out on, on population, not on area size. Yeah. So if that population diminishes, if these kids leave to go to college or university or, or whatnot, if there's no, no more jobs or there's no, just not enough incentive, incentives to stay in Northern Ontario, then these Northern ridings are just gonna get bigger and bigger. And let's be honest, I, I don't care if you're, you're, you're NDP, liberal, conservative, I don't care which party you are, mm -hmm. no one human can honestly say, I can represent that size of an area uh, um, um, fairly. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're getting word from the editor that we don't have time for the impression, or and Matt the Damon. We don't have, <laughs> or Matt Damon at all. Yeah. The Sorry, editor, Matt. No, Sorry, Matt. Uh, Steph Bucket again. Thank you. Cheers. Good luck thanks in the lot, upcoming guys. election. Yes, thanks in the election. Thanks, thanks for playing along. Nickel Belt. Yeah.